Good afternoon and good night, ladies and gentlemen. It's Marino Friday. You're waking up with the Nikki Marino, the GOAT, coming off an absolutely huge sweep last night. We're going to dig right into it. We got action all across the board right now. I mean, we got the studios rocking and rolling right now. It's March Madness. After a huge day one, I'm, I mean, when I tell you a huge day one, I mean, we swept the board. We're 3-0. and We hit 4-0 and this morning with Ohio State roll by 13-plus. I mean, guys, it's March. I'm rocking and rolling. And they have made March Madness for the GOAT, Nikki Marino. Guys, breaking news in the NFL. We're going to cover some NFL news. The trades are going out of the world right now. Uh, we're going to cover, we're also going to cover, you know, March Madness yesterday. Recap of my plays. I got the bracket in front of me. We're going to cover some key matchups. And we're going to get rolling into this thing. Make sure you stick around. I have an absolute lock of the century free play for the audience. Okay? Lock of the century free play for the audience. Guys, if you do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. All platforms, The Nicky Marino. Subscribe to my YouTube page, The Nicky Marino. And uh, guys, let's get rocking and rolling, man. Let's get right into it. Yesterday... Day one, March Madness. I'm sitting, I'm sitting at the Aria in the ballroom at a VIP watch party. I mean, I felt like I was in heaven, guys. You had over, over 40 TVs all around. It, it really makes you feel like March Madness is in full effect. And the action is in full effect. And yesterday, all we did was meet me at the window. And we're going to continue that streak. And we're going to continue to chase that 26-4 and four record from last year, guys. So we're going to jump right into it. Yesterday, I started off the day. Memphis Tigers minus three. Came out came out running and gunning, guys. Running and gunning against the Boise State uh, Broncos. You know, led by Jalen Duran. Memphis, uh, Memphis just came out strong. Won by double, uh, double digits down the stretch. And they just, they played tremendous basketball. Just like I handicapped, they played, they had great guard play on both sides of the ball. They just got out to it. They did fade, gave us a little scare towards the end. Uh, Boise State Boise State had a late push, but we got the job done at the end of the day. Got the job done at the end of the day. Jalen Duran, double-double, went for 10 points and 11 rebounds. Uh, moving right into some more action. Absolute blowout winner. North Carolina Tar Heels, guys. I told you guys this earlier in the week. North Carolina is one of my teams that I think that can get to the Final Four. And just like I said in the beginning, I see them beating Baylor, which they play, they're play. they going to play Baylor here in the second round. So I, I, I think they're going to get going here down the stretch. I mean, blowout winner, guys. I mean, 25-plus 25 plus, 25 plus winner. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to watch the game. I knew they were going to come out from top to bottom and play a full 40 minutes. Uh, great, great play in transition. They really rocked the show yesterday. It was, uh, it was, it was a great game. No sweat at all. My my team, we absolutely we absolutely crushed them yesterday, and we're on a we're on a crazy roll. So if you're not on the team, it's time to get on the team. Now, another ah, uh, down nine, down fourteen, down double digits at one point of the game. The Creighton Blue Jays. I've been rocking with this team all season long. I absolutely love this team. The way they play, they're well coached. Cal Brenner, man, he's a absolutely monster in the paint. Uh, they shoot the they shoot the ball on the perimeter, all around the perimeter. O'Connell, I mean, he's got a he's got a hundred and fifty percent complete stroke from the three point arc. And they San Diego State they played a, they played a phenomenal game yesterday. I mean, all around they played a phenomenal game. They just a team. Like San Diego State, I've been watching all year. They are known for giving up leads. They break down. They don't play a full 40 minutes. And that's and that's a big-time effect when it comes to college basketball, especially in the postseason, especially in March Madness. The big dance. Creighton down nine, three-plus minutes to go. Huge down the stretch. I mean, huge down the stretch again. Ryan Kalbrenner, double-double, 16 points, 10 boards. Just like I seen it, another overtime, another overtime victory. That was number two yesterday. We had two overtime wins, which was, you know, phenomenal. I'm going to get to the second overtime win when we dig right into Murray State. When the world has San Francisco, everybody tells me 
San Fran, I, I really like San Francisco here. Well, not Nicky Marino. And then when you're with Nicky Marino and you're on the Nicky Marino team, you're on the right side because that's what we do. We win. Now, I want to I just tap into some ROI and some money management, handicap 101. Guys, I know everybody, you know, a lot of sports bettors all around the world, worldwide. But the a most important thing when it comes to betting sports is managing your bankroll. And that is a big key when it comes to sports betting. And a lot of the industry, they don't have a customized betting formula that Nicky Marino has expertise on. So that's one thing that I give my clients, you know, I, I give them a lot of insight on money management. And we have a formula, a customized betting formula, a unit system that we follow. That is why my team is very successful at what we do, especially my long-term clients. I've had 250 clients for the past five plus years, and we're just going to keep rocking. I just want to cover that handicap in one-on-one because you really need to manage your bankroll. It doesn't matter how much your bankroll is. It all depends on your unit system and how you build it. Patience is success when it comes to sports betting, especially in the sports betting industry. You know, I'm not a sports gambler. I'm a professional. I'm a handicapper. I'm, my, my due diligence when it comes to this, this industry is it's proven, documented. I've been doing this for so long. That's why I call myself a professional and not a degenerate like 80% of the world out there in the sports betting industry. Complete sweep last night. If you guys are looking at my card, I want you guys to look at our results. We ended the night with Murray State, which was a second overtime victory for us. It's March Madness. It's never going to be easy. You know, every game is not going to be like a North Carolina 35-plus point blowout. Okay? This is March Madness. Every team in the field is here for an absolute reason because they played their butt butts off all season long. And they earned their bid to the, to the March Madness tournament. They earned their bid to play postseason basketball. So I'm going to jump into that. Murray State. I mean, guys, this kid, Tavon Brown, I mean, 17 points, 8 rebounds last night. Led the team down the stretch, especially in overtime. I mean, they just dragged, they just dragged this team out. And I want to give a lot of respect and props to, you know, San, San Francisco. I mean, they played, they played tremendous basketball. And I... I've watched this team live last, uh, last week against Gonzaga in the conference tournament. And, you know, I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't really impressed on their play. They went on a late run, uh, a 16-7 to late run in the second half, and they pushed, the, they pushed the game to make it close. I believe they did cover the spread. I think it was 13 and a half. Gonzaga still rolls the dice down the stretch. But San Fran, I want to give it props, man. They really showed up yesterday, played great guard play and played on both sides of the basketball. They made their three-point field goals in the second half. They just didn't have enough juice to get it done. And that's how I seen the game. So we had, we had Murray State money line to end our night, 100-unit play. And it was just – it was a great part, great part play on my, on my side. Another winner for my team. And we, we just continue, continue to build money. We build bankrolls. We change lives. And you just got to be patient. Patience is the key to success in this business. And when you're on Marino's team, you're on the best team and you're under control. Marino makes sure his clients are 100% under control, balancing that bankroll, return on investment, et cetera. Upset alert. Indiana, they had a lot of action out there. Excuse me. Upset alert in Indy yesterday. The boys from the MAC Conference. The boys from the Metro Athletic Conference. St. Peter's, the P-Hawks, man. I mean, it was unbelievable. Knocking off Kentucky. What a game. Going back and forth, going up and down the court. Transition. I mean, it, it was an unbelievable game. I was at the Aria looking. The place was going nuts. We're talking about an 18 and a half. An 18 and a half favorite Kentucky. And the Peacocks roll. The boys from St. Peter's. I mean, guys, I watched this game. Kentucky and St. Peter's are on a totally different level. St. Peter's, a very, very small team. Very, very small team. No bigs whatsoever. I don't know how they hang in the game. But anything happens in March Madness. Anything happens in March Madness. Anything can happen. Bottom line. St. Peter's, they get the job done. 
they get the job done in overtime for the first potential Cinderella. So I'm very, I'm very excited to see, you know, what this team does in the next round, okay? Very important to see what this team does. The kid Daryl Banks, I mean, the guy is a phenomenal athlete, dropping 27. Dropping 27 on the Wildcats last night. And we're talking about we're talking about a really good Kentucky Wildcat team here. I mean, this team's been playing well up and down all season long. But I will tell you this. They have had their dead spots. They have had their dead spots down the run. I mean, all season long. Again, guys, I watch, I watch college hoops in and out all year long. This is why I'm so successful when it comes to college basketball. And I'm very good at what I do here. So... I know these teams. I know these certain teams. You know, I did not. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. I didn't. I, I didn't see St. Peter's winning the game outright. I did like them at at the spread plus to 18 and a half. I did think they had a fighting chance. I mean, they shoot the three ball well, but they're just so small. I didn't see. I didn't see them competing to win the game against a Kentucky Wildcat team. So, you know, that's um, that was a big play there, man. That was. Great. That was a great job by St. Peter's to get the job done there. Let's jump into some NFL. Then we're going to hit the bracket. Then I'm going to give you guys an absolute lock of the century free pick. And we're going to get going there. Guys, I got tons of action over here. We got this Miami game. We got Virginia Tech. I mean, we're rocking. Action all across the board. Let's make some money. Because at the end of the day, we're here for one thing. We're here to beat the books and we're here to make some money. So let's kick right into some NFL. Big news out in Cleveland. We touched on this topic earlier in the week. You know, Cleveland was going towards, towards the opposite way of keeping Baker Mayfield in the system. And look at now. The Browns signed Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson finally gets his chance. Signing with the Browns. $230 million guaranteed. An absolute huge contract for the QB1. I mean, he might, he's going to be a good fit over there in Cleveland. And let's see what he can really do, you know. Coming off a year, coming off an off year as well, you got you to gotta take that into consideration. Might be a little rusty, you know, because it's, it's a lot different when you're in practice and you're in live game time, okay. So he's going to have to get his legs underneath him and really see what he can do under center over out in Cleveland. I'm looking forward to Looking forward to the NFL. I really am. Another monster trade. Devontae Adams does not want to play under the franchise tag in Green Bay. Okay. One of the largest deals ever. A record-breaking deal for the wideout. A record-breaking deal for the wideout. $141 million. $141 million, gentlemen. That's a record deal. Record deal. Devontae coming to Las Vegas. Good friends of De uh, good friends of Dennis Carr. Um, they played to get they played together in college. Maybe there's some maybe there's some chemistry there. Maybe not. But Carr, man, you just I mean, just rough season after season. Can he win? That's the big thing. Can Carr win? Okay. Especially here in Las Vegas, you know, can Carr win? But the other question is, can Devontae Adams stay out of trouble when you get to the Sin City? Because the Sin City ain't nothing to play with around here. It's nothing to play with. That's why they call it the City of Sin. So I really hope that Devontae Adams can come here, you know, get the job done, stay focused, and maybe we can get some W's out here in uh, Las Vegas for, for, our Raider, for our Raider crew. MLB. Let's jump into MLB. I got two topics to cover in the MLB. This guy, man. This guy, Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero, man. I, I like his style, man. I like, I like how he's coming out, man. He's got a, he's got a good attitude, good positive attitude. Toronto Blue Jays are making a ton of moves for this MLB season. I mean, they're ready. They're locked and loaded. They're ready to, they're ready to win. I mean, I, I can see it all over the place. They are ready to win. So Vlad comes out with a statement. Last season was a trailer. Be ready. This season is going to be the movie. Woo! 
That's a lot of character coming out there from Toronto. A lot of character. I love it. I love the enthusiasm. I love the confident attitude. And I love the push. I really do. It's a young Blue Jays team that I used to, I've been watching for a couple of years now. I'm a, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of uh, Bo Bichette. Huge fan, man. I, I used to love his, his father, Dante Bichette. Great player. Great 5 tool player. And I, I think Bo, Vlad, Biggio, now they're a, they, got a young, they got a young nucleus there. So now they're bringing in parts to fulfill what's around that team. And I think they're plugging some holes, pick up a couple relievers, grab another starting pitcher. And I think they're, I think they're trending to compete right there in the top of the, top of the East in the American League. So I'm, I'm very excited to look out for that in the MLB. Freddie Freeman. I mean, does L.A., do you need another one? I mean, I think this is so bad for baseball. But the deal's done. <laughs> Freddie gets paid, and he's heading, he's heading to L.A. He's going to be a Dodger. So that adds another superstar to the L.A. Dodger organization. And um, I think they're going to be right on. They're going to be heavy there. Heavy there in the NL. In the, <laughs> they're going to have a good team. I can see that for sure. Chris Bryant heading to Coors Field. Uh, that's another that's another big pickup for the Rockies. I mean, another young, scrappy team that just can't win. Hopefully, picking up this piece will help them be a competitor in the NL West as well. Guys, if you do not follow me on all my platforms, make sure you do. The Nikki Marino on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the same. Guys, if you are sick of losing, stop guessing and start winning. Visit my website. You're one click away. TheNickyMarino.com. Free consultations available 24-7. Um, everything is listed on my website. All the information that you need. Guys, jump on my team. Start winning. Let's start building bankroll together. And let's start beating the books. It's us against the books. As you know, I say multiple times over and over again. Guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, show Nikki some love. Like, show a brother some love. I mean... Come on, especially my day one people, go to go to YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button on my page. Go to the search bar, the Nikki Marino. I mean, they're all over all my platforms. And let's get the job done. Okay. Let's get the job done. Um, so yeah, go subscribe and like my channel, ASAP. And let's keep the movement rocking. All right, let's go into this bracket now. Let's go here. Come on, let's go here. Guys, sorry, I got action all over the joint. We got three minutes in one game. I mean, I got my beautiful audience in front of me. And I'm in rare form today, guys. I'm in rare form. I woke up this morning. I put my meet me at the window hat on. I got Donald Trump 2020 because I keep, you know, I, I day in and day out, I keep looking at these gas prices, keep looking at what's going on in America, and it drives me completely out of my mind. Okay, out of my mind. Trump 2020, Trump 2024, Trump for life, baby. Jumping into this bracket, uh, top, side, top side of the West, guys. The Zags get it done. They had a huge scare yesterday. Georgia State put the scare in the bones yesterday. I mean, absolute, absolute crazy game. Uh, down the stretch, I mean, they were only down by two at the half. I mean, Great run by Georgia State, maybe next year. Memphis, one of my plays yesterday. They get the job done against the Broncos. Coming out, running and gunning, and they get it done. Now we're on to the next round. But can they fight against the Zags? Can they fight against the Zags? Hey, everybody out in New Mexico. How about them Aggies yesterday? Coming against UConn in the Big East. I mean, that team can shoot. That team can spread the floor. A lot of drive there. Huge. Double-digit win down the stretch. Um, fantastic win by the Aggies there. Arkansas just gets it done. Had Vermont plus four and a half in our parlay. Covered there by a half a point. I just think Arkansas, they ain't that tough down the stretch. And that's the bottom line. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. No riffraff here. I just keep it real. And I, you know, I, I, I say, I spit facts. And I've always have. I'm up here telling you. The best I can do here. Another team, uh, Texas Tech, comes out on the bottom of the bracket. Another roll there. So we're almost home there in the west bracket to get us to round two. The North Carolina. The North. 
Carolina Tar Heels, get it done. I told you this is the most dangerous team in the tournament. And when I tell you something, I mean it. When I tell you something, I mean it. Tar Heels, 35-plus winner against Marquette, who should have never been there. People are screaming, Marquette upset, Marquette upset, this, that, this, that. Not happening. Tar Heels playing Baylor in the next round, which I think they knock them off as well. And um, we're going to get right. We're going to get right to the action here. Foul. Let's go. Go to the line. Let's go here. St. Mary's, the guy cozy. He looks like he's 45, but he's getting to the rack. He's slashing and dashing. He's dropping 20-plus a game. One of the best point cards in the WCC conference. And he gets it done. But an absolute blowout winner from in, against Indiana yesterday. Trace Jackson Davis just couldn't get it done. Indiana was hot down the stretch, but St. Mary's takes care of business down there in the east side of the bracket. Purdue gets it done. I said is a fraud. They're not going to get there. Bottom line, I'm telling you that right now from day one. And they get past the first round. I told you they will not go deep. That is one thing I told you. Purdue will not go deep. I mean, I've been, I've been watching them all year long. I just, I don't think they're going to go deep at all. So, Murray State, St. Peter's. Oh, my God. Kentucky broke everybody's bracket. They broke everybody. They busted the world's bracket. What a matchup down there. Now, this is a game where this team can go very far. Murray State, St. Peter's, two bottom seeds in the, in the tournament. It's, it's going to be very close there. Very close. And I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking forward to see what happens in the bottom side of that bracket, for sure. For sure. Um, Michigan gets the job done. They're going to see Tennessee in the second round. A big play we had for my team this morning, Ohio State, 13-point winner. Meet me at the window. Let's go. Down in the Midwest, Auburn plays, guys. We got a bunch um, bunch more games to go, guys. Bunch more games to go. And um, we're ready to lock and load. I'm giving you guys my free play of the night. Davidson on the money line. Davidson at the on the money line, gentlemen. Go to the bank. Take out the chips. Lay the house and meet me at the window, baby. I love this team. Been watching them all year long. They got great guard play. They're sharpshooters all around the perimeter. They play great on the defensive side of the ball and transition. They run and gun. And we're ready for March. It's round one. It's day two. Thank you for tuning in to the Marino Show. I got to go. I got so much action across the board. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's Marino, baby. Do you smell? La, 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 la. What Marino is cooking.